everybody, how's it going? Hair. We all have it. But did we always have it? Yes. But was it always like our hair today? No. This is hair through the ages. So this is ancient Egyptian hair. Now we only have drawings of ancient Egyptian hair, so we can't really tell what it looked like exactly. We only have these drawings, and ancient Egyptian drawing is not particularly, you know, trying to capture the realism. But let's pretend that this is ancient Egyptian hair and say that ancient Egyptian hair was drawn on the heads and faces of people. For Roman hair, we have a little more than drawings. We actually have statues. That's cool. Now these marble statues, I have no idea whose head this is by the way, they are realistic because Western art, even all the way back in the Roman days, which is when actually the foundations for Western culture were laid, Western art is about capturing the actual realism of the thing you're looking at, at least for some of it is. Now like I said, I don't know whose head this is, but if you do, tell me if you know whose head this is. Also, do people in Rome not have eyes or something? I, like, what, what's going on? Now in the Middle Ages, I'm sure men had hair, but I couldn't find any pictures of men when I first googled Middle Ages hairstyles and I only found women, but this picture looks kind of like Game of Thrones from the things, the few clips I've seen of Game of Thrones, so this is what women's hair looked like in the Middle Ages, I think. I'm probably not. I thought they'd be bald, but... Now let's jump forwards a little bit to the Age of Revolutions. Now, here we have George Washington. George Washington was an interesting person because a lot of people think that his hair was fake, but his hair was not, in fact, fake. His hair, contrary to popular belief, was real. So the thing you see in US currency, paintings, and a lot of other things that I can't think of off the top of my head and I couldn't think of when I was writing the script of this video, those things are real, are showing real hair. That that's weird. And while we're on the topic of surprising but real hair, Donald Trump. His beautifully terrible hair comes in many forms and also looks like many things. In this picture, his hair looks like a bird's wing. And in this picture, his hair looks like a dragon. And here, it looks kind of like a waterfall, like the, the back of the hair looks kind of like a waterfall. And, and now, I have no idea what this is. Uh, if you could tell me, if you could inform me what I'm looking at here, what is this picture? Now to heal from the emotional scarring, here's a cat. Thank you guys for watching, I did enjoy making this video. Thank you to Zach Havens, a friend of mine, for giving me the idea for this video when I asked him, Zach, I want to make a video and I'm going to let you choose the idea. Just make it something history related. You might have noticed my t-shirt, it's a Mo Crash Course Mongols t-shirt, it's my favorite t-shirt now. I, I, I love this t-shirt. It's everything to me. Someone in school today told me that this t-shirt was a waste of money and I almost slapped them which could have gotten me in trouble but I didn't slap them but I was so close. I was so close. I wish I had slapped them. They really deserved it. So a few things. I've stopped my gaming channel because gaming videos are really 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 difficult. I mean they're not difficult but they're stressful if you want to actually make good gaming videos so they're difficult. And it was just too much work for not the kind of reward I was expecting from it so I stopped it. But you know what is worth the effort? The secret project that I'm working on. Now, it's a video project, but that's the only thing I'm going to tell you. But there is a public project that I'm working on, and that's this project with this guy named Jeffrey Ding He, or Ding Ho, or I have no idea how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. And my history teacher, one of my history teachers, Mr. Taylor. Yes, I have multiple history teachers, because I have multiple history classes. We're basically trying to make Jeffrey's new video go viral. It's a senior project, and it's a really interesting project. He's made this video where he plays the Force theme from Star Wars, and he's animated his bow to look like a lightsaber, except he has like four videos in one video, so he has four lightsabers and it took him hours and hours to edit it. I asked him how long it took him to, to like get the graphics and effects correctly and he said that it took him 20 hours of frame by frame editing for the blue one. Slightly less time for all the others because he was able to use motion capture but uh, still, that's a lot of time. It's really good, it already has 3,000 views, but if you watch viral videos, you know that 3,000 views is that's nothing. You need millions and millions of views. We're trying to get it to at least 10,000. We think that once it's at 10,000, it'll go viral. So, if you guys could go watch that video here, or here, in the... T I say pointing at my pants. I mean in the description. You can click on it. And then go like it, go comment on it, and tweet it at all your favorite people. Tweet spam them, basically. Also, another thing I'm trying to do, you might have noticed we're five subscribers away from getting to 100 subscribers. So, 
share this channel, and once we are at 100 subscribers, which I'm confident we can do by the time this... No, wait. <laughs> what was I saying? Which I'm confident that we can do by the end of the day that this video is posted. Which should be today, but it might be tomorrow for me. I don't know when this video is going to be posted, honestly. I'm a lazy, lazy person. Once we get to 100 subscribers, I'll make a Facebook page. And I'll also make more videos, because uh, you might have noticed, past two, three weeks, I made like one video, two videos or something like that. I'll just be more motivated once the subscriber number is in the three digits area, than when it's in the two digits area like it is right now. So please, help me do that. Also, I've had this idea where I'll like make exclusive videos for Facebook, test out Facebook's potential as a video platform, which is very interesting to me. So if you subscribe, get me more subscribers, then I will get you more videos, not just on this channel, but also on my Facebook page. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, or maybe on Facebook. Bye!